the blonde scene that went too far. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the blonde scene that went too far. Let's get right into it. There's a lot to talk about in Andrew Dominic's Blonde now that it's finally had its premiere, and we'll certainly be talking about it more once people outside of Venice can finally see it. But there is one scene in particular that got people talking at the festival. During the press tour, the cast and crew had expressed some surprise as to why the film was rated NC-17. It's pretty clear to anyone who has seen it that this scene is the reason why. Blonde, based on Joyce Carol Oates' 2000 novel about Marilyn Monroe, charts the many humiliations and horrors visited upon the actress over the course of a career that saw her become one of the world's most desired women. During the final third of the 166-minute film, we see Marlon, played by Anna de Armas, taken to see John F. Kennedy in a hotel room in 1962. She's told that the president needs to fly back to DC that night for an emergency situation, so the whole thing feels rushed. Marlon is lifted off her feet by two Secret Service goons as they lead her to the president's suite. She asks, half-jokingly, am I meant to be delivered? Which of course is exactly what she is in the context of the scene. The president is lying in bed wearing a black brace, watching TV news, and talking on the phone in his bedroom, outside of which his staff is hovering. As Marlon sits next to him on the bed, he does not sit up or stand. We see the telltale motions of a handjob being given as he continues to talk on the phone. The man on the other end of the line is telling the president about how the bureau has discovered evidence of someone's sexual improprieties. At first, it appears that they're discussing someone else, but it quickly becomes clear that they're talking about Kennedy's own affairs. Throughout the film, Kennedy frequently looks away from Marilyn and says repeatedly and impatiently, Baby, come on! As if what she's doing isn't enough. He then lowers her head. The camera zooms in on her perplexed expression. We mostly see her eyes, which are wide and almost shocked, but a sliver of flesh is visible against her lips on occasion. At first glance, it appears to be, well, what we might expect it to be. However, as the scene progresses, we realize that it is the edge of her hand that is presumably gripping Kennedy. To be clear, this is not a thrilling scene. It's extremely tense and upsetting. However, it is also stated to be pornographic. The close-up lasts approximately a minute and a half. It is intended to feel suspicious or exploitative. As the shot progresses, the image pulls back and we see the scene unfolding on a movie screen in front of a packed theatre. Blonde frequently reflects on our own viewing of the film, demonstrating how public adoration can be menacing, prying, and a destructive force. It does so by breaking the fourth wall in subtle ways. As the previously mentioned and extremely uncomfortable close-up continues, we hear the Armas' voiceover speculate about the scene, talking about playing the part of a famous blonde actress and even wondering if she's found herself in a pornographic film. Of course, this could be Norma Jean herself, distancing herself from the Marilyn Monroe character she has created. It could also be the Armas, stepping outside her own frame for a moment. Blonde contains voiceovers that do not sound like the Armas' Marlin impersonation. Rather, they sound like her own voice, with her accent, commenting not only on the phenomenon of Norma Jean becoming Marlin, but also on the Armas becoming Norma Jean becoming Marlin. The distance between these two ideas is not great in Blonde, a grotesque and gripping essay on celebrity and desire. Then, as if stepping back into character, the voiceover adds, Just don't puke, don't cough, don't gag, you have to swallow. The distracted Kennedy starts yelling out, You dirty slut! Finally, a TV montage of missiles firing and old black and white film images of flying saucers crashing into buildings and American monuments suggest that he has attained orgasm. The camera pans out to reveal that the door has been opened the entire time, with Kennedy's staff standing outside, casually ignoring what's going on in the bedroom. Then comes a final, even more disturbing scene. As Marlon attempts to smile at Kennedy, we see a hand that appears to be his grab her mouth and quickly yank her out of frame, followed by a body jumping on her to rape her before the image fades to black. We see her wake up, vomiting, and struggling to pee. Blonde currently has a 42% Rotten Tomatoes rating and a 32% audience rating. While critics have praised Anna de Armas' performance, Twitter users have been critical of the film as a whole. Blonde is a brutal film, as many critics have noted in their reviews, and it contains scenes that are more graphic in some ways than this one, such as domestic violence and an abortion. It's a film full of vomit, blood, screams and bruises. But I'm starting to think that the most brutal scene in the film is this one, which appears to show nothing, but actually shows almost everything. Many people said not to watch Blonde, using words like sexist and disrespectful, and that it does not do a good job of honoring Marilyn Monroe's life. This makes me wonder if Blonde has a chance during award season, or if Anna de Armas will get all the attention for her performance. 
That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.